yeah today we are going to install mysql server in ubuntu so i have aws instance and uh, right now i log logged into my aws instance so it's basically an ubuntu with the version uh, 18 point Uh, 18.04 so right now uh, what I am going to do is uh, also I have Apache 2 Apache 2 and also I have PHP so everything is already installed so I can go with uh, MySQL installation so before uh, I'm going to my SQL installation. I need some additional packages to install that's related to PHP. So I need to PHP get text. This is not mandatory, but it's good. So I'm installing that one. It will take only 4384 KB. So it's not a big deal. So I'm installing that one. So if I am going here, I can see, yeah, probably we need to click on this one. But what this means, PHP get text. Okay, so this is already related to yeah. So it's a internationalization with a get get text tutorial. So it's basically uh, related to the uh, encoding things. So. We don't need to care about that too much right now so we are just going to install our mysql server so how we will do that so we are using the same command sudo apt install and the only the Only the command session is very so here I'm just copy and pasting that so it will take 156 MB so it's in a little bit it will take some space but I'm going with that okay almost done then what I need to do try to log into my SQL using my SQL minus root I will do that okay so install my SQL so my SQL is there so I can write some commands so update database my SQL native for the user so update user set plugin my SQL native password where user is equal to root so this will optional things we don't need to care about that I'm not going to work on that but I need this one this is PHP my admin so graphical user interface for that to access my PHP so here I need to exit actually so it exit will not work like that probably Oh, 
Colors. So we are in a total trouble right now. Yeah. Okay. So it's short. It's stop my my SQL server. So my SQL version. My SQL version 14.14. Distributor 5728 for Linux, so it's an inbuilt one. Then my SQL chart, so I know it's not chart, I guess. So probably my SQL stop. Okay. Okay, so what I am going to do is I am trying to install my graphical user interface for my SQL. Do you wish to continue? 50 MB? Yeah. So Apache 2, that's my web server organized automatically. Then, then it will ask for some the PHP Miami package must have a database installed and configured before it can be used. This can be optionally handled with the DB config command. If you are an advanced database administrator and know that you want to perform this configuration manually or if your database already been installed and configured you should be refused this option so uh, I'm going with that options please provide a password for PHP my admin to register with the database server if left blank a random password will be generated so it's better to provide a good password here probably a and again okay and you need to confirm that password also okay that's done so you are waiting for it's finalizing everything so right now the php my admin is done so how i will access that php my admin that's another thing that we need to find so i have the url here what i'm going to do is I need to copy that url and paste it here and here Probably PHP my admin will be my okay. There is no PHP my admin, so uh, basically we need to configure that. So we just install PHP my admin, but uh, I can access PHP my admin right now. So is anything they are saying here? They are just saying we need to restart our Apache server. So that session we are not done. So probably after doing that, probably it will work. But I am not sure about that. So let me, uh, it's not working right now. The URL is PHP my admin. The URL I type is also PHP my admin. So still it's not working. This one already working. We have no issues here. So probably not found. We need to search for that. Okay. I'm not in that one. Okay. Copy PHP my admin. So I need to go to here 
the gedit apache to config okay there is no gedit so i'm going for nano any edit is fine so okay here uh, then add the following line into the end of the file so I'm going all the way to the end so there are so many configuration here yeah, we can change our file upload size also. So many things we can do. But right now I'm just pasting my requirement. That's HTTPHP, I, my admin, Apache config. And just save that one. Then we need to reset. Right now probably it will work but yeah right now it's done and we can provide our password also okay the password is access denied for root Uh, create a new user and give permission to that don't hand all permission to the new user identify by password So I need to execute this in my SQL environment, then exit. So is my SQL restart. That way also we can do. So I will do that thing also. Sudo my SQL in this new root okay so we are in my sql right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new user so for right now uh, i'm going to do these things so basically the password is here yeah, password is sensitive one so i don't want to show that anybody so anyway that's all so there is only few few things that I need to change before I'm getting the access so this way we can install PHP and my admin PHP my admin and my SQL so thank you for watching next video we will go more deeply into PHP my admin my SQL uh, database sections probably thank you for watching have a nice day